I'm guessing this is good news. Blackpink to stay as a group under YG. That's that's good news. Inside the hints on uh, Sunghan leaving Rise. I haven't checked out Rise yet, so I don't really know much about the group. Leaving sound leaving doesn't sound good. I, I remember leaving. That's never a good thing. Um, and what about Subin? Subin controversy. What happened with Subin? What's what's going on? Oh lord, here comes the news, the bad news. Oh lord, not Subin. Oh no, no, not a leader. Oh no. Missing updates about Blackpink. Oh no. Not say the same about Rise. Again, I take all this information with a grain of salt. Not everything's accurate. Sunghan and TXT Subin. Before we get to that, we'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN. JYP founder Park Jin Young has managed to anger a lot of fans when he revealed the advice he gives to his artists. He What's the advice? He appeared on an episode of P6 Show on YouTube, where okay. he said that the one advice he tends to give his artists is to appear happy at all times, because if people notice that they look sad or depressed, then other people that are present can feel uncomfortable. He went on to say, so that's who we are, even in our toughest days we have to go make a joke make sure you make everybody comfortable most people mention that it's really insensitive <sighs> i don't know about that bruh i get it you know if you're going through tight hard times I, I get where he's coming from i get obviously people are taking it way out of context but i get i get where he's coming from you know what i'm saying you're in so many people's public eye you know what i'm saying if you come across negative and not in a good mood and that's that it's gonna rub off on a on a lot of people i bet people like, oh my god what's going on with hard oh my god what's going on with this member oh my god you know like i get what he's trying to say but at the same time bruh, everyone's going through shit <laughs> everybody's going through shit <sighs> yeah up it's, it's not it's not only asians <laughs> trust me as an african i know about this <laughs> As an African, this is very relatable. This ain't this ain't no surprise to me. Hey, us Africans, hey, Africans know, Asians know, we know about this. This is a household routine. This is this is not even like anything new. Bruh, you sad, suck it up. You going through shit, suck it up. Keep it moving. Life goes on. That's what we were told. What? <laughs> That's why what when people go to me, so why don't you cry? Shit, I don't even know how to. <laughs> Hey, it sounds crazy, but I don't even know how to drop a tear, bruh. I don't know how to. I was always told, keep it moving, bruh. It is what it is. This is life. It's hard. Keep it moving. Bruh. So, it's probably, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know why the people are taking it wrong, though. Feelings, especially considering the number of JYP artists going on hiatus because of their mental health. Another fan made a good point by mentioning... Yeah, but at least he's letting them go on hiatus. He could have been like, nah, you, you signed a contract, you're part of the business. Just because of your mental health, nah, you still got to work. At least he's letting them go and take care of their health, no? What's the issue here? That's my question. What's the issue? He's letting them go and do... Like, what the... I'm confused now. What do you guys want? What, what do you want? Do, do, uh, wait, okay, 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 okay. Let's calm down a little bit. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Do people realize that this is a job? Like, I, I, I genuinely want, I'm just asking. Do people realize being an idol is a job? Brother, you've got to turn up to work. How many of us here, how many, how many of us here technically don't want to wake up and go to work? Let's keep it a hundred. How many days of the week do you wake up and say, I don't really want to go work today? Hello? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, every, you know what I'm saying? Most of us, every day we wake up, we're like, brother, I don't want to go work today. But I have to. It's part of my duty. It's a job, bruv. I got to. So if if it was just because well, idols just don't feel like going to work, like brother, half of them wouldn't turn up every day, bro. They'll be sleeping. They'll be sleeping every day if they really wanted to. Like you lot are wilding now. It's a bit too crazy. Idols can't really separate their work and personal life. If they're feeling sad and depressed at work, they have to keep up appearances for the sake of fans. It's when a job. At the dorm, they need to hide their feelings as to not to affect the team's mood. On the other hand, some fans mention that this is the reality of most, if not all, workplaces. Whatever. Like I just said, let's ca let's carry on. Like I just it really said, doesn't really matter because you need to appear okay and happy all the time. Like what I do said, you think about the situation. I think it's a job, bruv. 
it's a job and before you even became an idol i'm sure you knew what being an idol was like they probably told you yo yo you're gonna give up your private life for the next 10 to 15 years your private life is non-existent do you know what you're signing up to and there's no like ah oh, no, no. no do you know what you're signing up to this is not a joke tick you're gonna have to give it up you're gonna have to give up a lot other idols have found themselves in hot waters for recommending and watching the anime made in abyss to give you context made in abyss is a manga series made of 12 volumes and was even adapted into an anime with two seasons okay it tells the story of a young girl named riku and her friend reg who's okay. half human as okay. they venture into the perilous abyss in search of riku's mother sounds okay. innocent right well not quite the series has instances of the main characters enduring torture being depicted without clothes and very bad situations and other concerning content all considering the characters underage status that's why netizens were more than shocked to find out that a handful of male idols had read or watched made in abyss with some going as far as to recommend it despite its content the first one that was mentioned was subin who talked about the anime last year and expressed just how much he enjoyed it he went on to say that he wouldn't recommend the anime to anyone because of how quote unquote provocative it was but he mentioned that he had fun watching it once this live stream surfaced Netizen started bringing up other idols that had mentioned watching the anime. In NCT's Taeyong's case, he didn't explicitly mention the anime nor the manga, but he's definitely a fan. In one Instagram story in which he showed the famous mischief red boots, you can see the volume 11 of the Made in Abyss manga, which has proven very disturbing to Netizens and fans. <laughs> yeah, these people have too much time. Next, next topic, please. Nah, these people are wild. If you don't want to read it, don't read it. You know, you don't move crazy. Nah, at this point, yeah, you don't move crazy. But you don't have too much time on your hands you have too much the brother said it. i liked it but it's like it's an anime right it's made belief what the, it's make belief you lot wilding no no next Another idol who was Next. brought up to be a fan of the anime was 17 member Uri, and so who mentioned it in a Weverse live stream back in 2022. He said that he was enjoying a bunch of anime at the time and mentioned watching Made in Abyss. While the other idols have briefly mentioned it, AT's Mingi said that it was one of his favorite animes of all time, despite it being a bit grotesque. A big oh number my of people God, are condemning bruh. the idols for recommending the anime with one that is really, really. So if, we, if we're talking about movies. Let's let's be let's keep it a hundred. Some of the greatest movies of all time should not be recommended to nobody. Let's keep let's keep it a hundred. If this is what we're gonna do, bruv, most movies that are the greatest of all time should not be recommended to nobody. None of us should watch it. What are we doing? Now nah, you lot whiling, bruv. I oh my god, bruv. Now nah, you lot moving crazy. What, what what about that show that everyone's watching now? This you this you show. What is that? What is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Django. Do you know what I'm saying, bruv? You, you four of you keep going. I do keep going. <coughs> you feel me, chat? What? Come on now. Oh, my God, bruh. What, what's that one show? I didn't watch it, but what's that one show where that guy was basically pulling in men and then doing things to them and then taking their lives? What's that? What's that show? That went number one on, on Netflix. Are we going to question everyone that watched that? There you go. Jer Jeffrey, whatever, the Hand Hand Amanda, whatever. Yeah, you exactly. you That one. Are we going to question everybody that watched that? Like, come on, man. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's just... Relax. Nah, you lot are wild. <laughs> no oh, my person. God. You enjoy seeing things like this. I don't care if it's just a cartoon it's depicting children and oh my god yet yeah, you still go around wearing balenciaga in it <clears throat> yeah yeah cool yeah you don't you don't know who i'm talking i'm talking to all y'all <clears throat> you lot still walking around in your balenciaga i'm just saying cool ah uh, you pick and choose what you guys want to do in it <clears throat> which has children being depicted in such a manner. There's also a lot of mentions as to how the manga doesn't condemn these actions, but depicts them to appeal to sick people. The you know other side of respective fandoms doesn't agree with all the criticism. According to some people, the anime is very censored in Korea, implying that there's a chance that these idols aren't really aware of how disturbing it actually is. This has been debunked pretty quickly with a Twitter user posting a screenshot of a part of the show that was included on the Korean version of the anime. Others are arguing that just because the idols watch disturbing content doesn't mean that they necessarily support or even agree with what's being said and done so you know what i'm saying bruv i've watched what strangers from hell i've watched mouse 
Like all of these, all of these K dramas are mad, bruv. <laughs> all of these K dramas are next level. Penthouse, you know what I'm saying, bruv? It's a madness. I don't hear no. What, what are we doing? Flower of evil. Yeah, yo, these shits are sick. Huh? What's the what's the what's the movie? I, I saw the devil. Why is that rated as one of the greatest movies of all time? I saw the devil. That shit's crazy. That movie's mud. Mud, I tell you, mud. What do you think about it? Sometimes it's silenced. Silenced. <clears throat> I know you guys have seen that. <laughs> that movie, I actually, I was about to throw up. I literally felt sick. I felt sick. Difficult for us to get the latest updates on K-pop. Nah, some people just take things too far, bruv. Too much time. That's why we've started using Surfshark. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Available on this is no law as soon as it helps to protect device. Because Surfshark to stream. Damn. 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 How much, how, how, how much did they pay for that sponsor? Damn. That was a long ass sponsor. Attack on Titans mad as well. True. Has been involved but in it's great. Another controversy, which makes us wonder: Will this guy ever get a break? No, but probably not. With the netizen claiming to be a former friend of Sung Han, who had a lot to say about his behavior before he debuted. The netizen posted a series of Instagram stories about Sung Han, claiming to have met him pre-debut through mutual friends. The poster said that Sung Han allegedly cursed a lot and was sort of a player. They also claimed that he used to drink, smoke, and hold Instagram lives on an account that the company didn't know about. The user went on. He bragged about seeing female trainees and trying to exercise authority over them and talk behind the people he was debuting with as if it were no big deal. Mm. Then they alleged that Sung Han used to interact with other female idols from other companies on a secret Instagram account, but used to pretend not to care about the female trainees so SM wouldn't catch him. After making other allegations, even claiming that he was faking his personality, the users said that they weren't lying and that they had cut ties with him as they disagreed with his behavior. Even though these- Okay, you disagree with his behavior and now he's moved on with his life trying to better himself he's made it into a group he's rising and you're probably still not doing nothing with your life and you're like okay how do i bring him down because he doesn't technically deserve it because he was he was this person and therefore i'm not the person he is today so i'm gonna try and bring him down some way some form cool all right cool next that's basically what you just told me cool next no basis netizens are still requesting sm to kick sung han out of the group taking with seraphim as the example of a group who did well after a member was kicked out oh now, my god just, just because it worked once doesn't mean it's gonna work twice how bad his members must be feeling after his so-called scandals. One netizen even made a post and included a couple of clips in which the RISE members are seemingly giving Sung Han the cold shoulder. A commenter advised the members writing, you're rather gonna become more likable if you don't associate with someone like him. Look at the group's image because of everything he did. How could it be that way? As Bruh, unless I see concrete evidence of what he's done, I can't judge a brother, but I swear. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, man. I can't judge a person unless I've seen it. Just speculation to someone coming in my ear. One person saying, yeah, he was like this. He was like that. That's not enough for me, man. I need more. I need more before I try and ruin someone's life. I need way more. As always, though, it seems like the Korean netizens are blowing things out of proportion, as it seems like the members are treating him as always, and the chosen photos shared by the poster were just a friendly teasing between the members. Other users also mentioned how much- no, But that's the thing, Mariah, in the world we live today, growing up and, and changing and improving as a person is not acceptable. It's not acceptable nowadays. For some people, for me it's acceptable, but for some people it's not acceptable no more. You are still the person you were 10 years ago. That 10 year gap of you doing what you got to do to develop yourself and whatnot, it doesn't count. You're still the same person you were 10 years ago, man. 100%. I don't care what you say to me. That person that I knew 10 years ago, that's who you are today. Guaranteed. People don't believe each other and give each other second chances. Nope, that's not a thing. I mean, Musa, I used to bite people's ankles and run. <laughs> who falls? <laughs> 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm not like that. So you are, you are a toddler. <laughs> Nah, that, you're still, you still got the same energy, man. I don't believe you. I believe you're still going around biting ankles, man. 100% for sure. 100%. That's, that's, that's still you. Nah, I wasn't a toddler. See what I'm saying? So you're still out here biting ankles and shit. That's crazy. <laughs> that's a wild assumption. <laughs> I'm just saying biting ankles as an adult is <laughs> mad. Some people never change. That's also very true. 
that's also very true. But you can't just go off that that statement. Oh, some people never change, so therefore, no, I'm not gonna accept anybody's change. That's I, I still don't think it's fair. But the prices of Sumhan's photo cards have plummeted, with the people in the comments even joking that the already low prices of the photo cards are way too expensive for an idol with such a large amount of scandals. However, it's important to mention that Wanbin and Anton are the most popular members with the most expensive photo cards, so it makes no sense to compare their prices to Sumhan's. Okay. All in all, netizens are demanding his immediate withdrawal from the company, even going as far as to be silent during Sumhan's parts in Rise's live performances. <laughs> Nah, some people are wilding. Some people are wilding. In Asia, that industry insiders are discussing the possibility of SM kicking Sung Han out. According to this report, the three scandals that Sung Han went through have been enough for SM to consider removing him from. The three group. scandals. Damn. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> Three scandals is crazy. Even Korean netizens are over the moon at the possibility of him being kicked out. SM have yet to speak out about any of this, and we hope it's not true. We finally have some updates regarding Blackpink. There's no confirmation yet, but this is better than nothing. Okay, so a report from Moonhwa Ilbo on November 20th shared that Blackpink will continue promoting as a group, but the members haven't reached any conclusions when it comes to their individual contracts with the company. Damn, According who's who's the only one to sign? Rose, right? To the report, they're aiming to keep working as a team for blackpink but also want to do their own thing separately the shocking thing is that two members seemingly have sorted things out with yg but it's not clear what's happening with the others there's already speculation on what decision each member took people are guessing that jisoo and rose were the members who stayed especially rose yeah rose i, I had rose sign I, I, I and nothing Jenny, about you. according to recent reports were the ones who left the company yg on the other hand has stated that nothing has been decided yet and that contract renewals are still going on so mm. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank, thank you for watching. <sighs> and talk to you soon. Bye, guys. I ain't gonna lie, man. Some, some, this, sometimes these videos get me my blood boiling. I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> these videos get my blood boiling, man. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, man. Shit.